Hello viewers, this is Khalid Mahmood once again with the new video. If you have a scenario like this, where you have to identify polygons with no points inside that polygon or more than one point inside that polygon. Basically, we will identify using special join. So, this could be part of the previous video which I have uploaded some days ago where I have tried to explain using the special join if you want to bring a point attribute information into polygon attribute table. So I will put the link in the description for this video. So better if you can watch that and the link also for this special join from ArcGIS website I will also put in the description. So as I have mentioned before the purpose of this video is to identify a polygon with no points inside like this. Either it could be an empty uh, ground or a building with uh, no values, no records like this. Or it could be a polygon with more than one point inside it like uh, this. Or there could be a scenario where we can see that a polygons having point information but these two points are just outside of these uh, polygons so let's get started i am using arc js desktop 10.5 so i have just basically uh, connected the link to my folder where with where i have this data in documents in ArcGIS and in default geodatabase I have connected and I have a database with the name join and I have added this points shapefile there and a polygon underscore area shapefile into this map view so basically the purpose is that as described in the previous video if we will open a polygon it has an attribute polygon underscore a and let's open attribute table for points it has point underscore a the whole purpose is to bring these values from this point data point underscore a into polygon underscore a using special join but before applying this special join to bring this point underscore a into polygon underscore a of another attribute table we have to make sure that there should be no empty polygon in our database or no polygon with more than one point inside it so let me turn off the base map and try to show you if you have a huge amount of uh, points and polygons here you can see all of uh, these points are outside these polygons so the purpose to bring the attribute of this point underscore a let me open it again this point underscore a the value inside it polygon underscore a for this purpose all these points should be inside this polygon so that we can use special join and can have all the values of point underscore a into polygon underscore a this is the case where we don't have similar object ids in both shape files if we have both object IDs or any other field similar in both shape files, we can just simply use this join 
here we know that there are two join options if we have similar object ids for example we will just choose so object id here and object id from this point share file and then validate and then click ok but in our case we don't have object id or any other field in both shape files having similar values that's why we cannot use this first case we have to use this second one but before going into this using second join option with this value we have to calculate all the records of polygon underscore a into point underscore a so but before doing that we have to know where all let's start editing where all such points are outside the polygons or if there is a polygon where it's actually a no point inside it uh, like here this could be an empty place as i have shown you before it could be an empty parcel like this by unchecking this we can see that this is the ground there is no building so this polygon is actually don't have any uh, any point inside we, so we just we can just simply uh, in this one selected feature we can just delete this selected but what if we have a huge amount of polygons so this one by one deletion will not work for us we have to find a way so i have found a way a trip or trick if you have some more convenient way do let me know in the comment section so for this i want to do i want to create a join from this polygon with this point file by selecting this first option each polygon will be given a summary of the numeric attributes of the points that fall inside it so this will let us know that which polygons are empty if there is no point inside or if there is more than one point inside this polygon we will have a summary so we have to select this and here we have to select the database where we want to uh, export this new join so usually you can use uh, any any place where you want to export but uh, we will use usually this documents default and we can see we can write special join count for example so we want to count how many points are within this polygon so click save click ok no a new layer has been created with this color automatically by the system so we can check the previous and we can open the attribute table of this new shape file here you can see we have a new field where we can see count uh, underscore showing one if we can double click on that we can get these null this means these polygons don't have any point inside it and these polygons from here has one point inside it let me drag up this point here so what we have to do uh, we have to uh, click here on show selected records and we can use this select by attribute or from this option select by attribute so we have to double click on count underscore is equal to get unique values is equal to one so from out of this 699 we have selected that 595 polygons which have actually 
one point inside it that's correct for us so we don't want this polygon to be checked through this uh, exported join because these are uh, valid and okay so we can simply delete this we have to actually make uh, start editing on this uh, layer which we have just exported we will uh, apply this again select by attribute let me do it again count underscore is equal to get unique values one double click and we have 595 polygons with one point inside it that's fine for us so we will just simply delete this and close this table and save edits and now this exported special join, join count we can change this color into red or fill with no color but the outer boundary we can put it as a red color so now we have to check in our original polygons polygon underscore a and if you can just turn off this point and now you have highlighted all the polygons which have issues what type of issues uh, this uh, these issues is addressed in this count so let's select and uh, left click of the mouse press it and just drag it to the uh, here so let's uh, bring this table here on the left side and we have to just focus it here so these reds where we can see that the uh, polygons with no count of uh, with no point inside we can highlight check and there are some polygons in which two point files have been there so if you want to fix this uh, 11 for example it's simple so just select this double click here you have zoomed in into that and just uh, open this uh, check this point and you have to basically fix this our polygon underscore a now you have reached to this one you can uncheck this special join for example and uh, select this one and it says you have to save edits stop edits and start editing for this polygon underscore area a so you can actually uh, open this base map and find a better place for the cutting of this polygon but simply just to want to show you you can using this cut polygon tool you can cut this polygon into two places and then you have to clear selected feature it's okay fine now you have to save edits and stop edits and here you you can delete this polygon no the case is that this a uh, special join count is actually in another database and uh, this points and polygon underscore is in another database so if you want to editing on both this uh, join polygon and this polygon underscore area together so you have to bring this uh, shape file into this uh, join your database so you can uh, continue your editing only in a one go not to stop again and come back to the previous so for that let me just uh, remove uh, this connection from this table of contents by right clicking on that remove and here you have actually let me just refresh this default yes we have this uh, special underscore join count you can copy that and you can click on this join and paste and click ok and just right click and refresh now you have special join count 
in 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 one geo database now you have to add this here and uh, change its color either in uh, red and you can change the display the transparency as well by right clicking and going to properties and coming here into the display properties you can say 50 percent transparent click ok then you can have some transparency if you want to see if there is uh, another data uh, below this layer or not so this is just to inform you so click ok so now actually we have to start it, uh, editing again actually uh, before we have divided this polygon into two and here we have to delete this uh, polygon that we have fixed it already and now you can go to uh, all other red colors nearby so you have to open this attribute table and bring this count by pressing uh, left uh, of the mouse left click of the mouse and bring it to the start and double click here and you can select this one this is basically uh, an empty field an empty polygon basically with no point inside it so if you are going to select this basically it has selected uh, this special giant count uh, polygon and polygon underscore area uh, as well let me open this attribute table so here you can see one count and also one count of this uh, special giant count field and you can just simply uh, press the delete button and here is the case if you want to uncheck special join this is basically this point is just outside this polygon you can just put it inside and no need to delete this uh, polygon underscore area you have to click this special join uncheck this polygon underscore area and just only uh, delete this now you can move to the next part yes this one you can see that there is no point inside so you can select uh, both polygons from these two layers and just click on this delete and here you can see that this point is actually outside this polygon so just uncheck special join count and uh, select this and bring this inside so no need to delete this original polygon underscore area you have to just uncheck and check this special join and select this and delete so in this way you are able to identify all the polygons which have issues and you can finalize uh, that your issue so hoping that you have liked uh, like the video do subscribe share the video thank you very much bye bye take care